people in Sweden implanting, uh, putting implants, microchips, right, yes. into them. We've seen something like this here. There was, um, there was a company that in they're, Wisconsin, yeah. right, so they could get stuff out of the vending machine yeah. with these microchips. So what's happening in Sweden? So basically in Sweden over the past couple of years, several thousand people have had these little rice grain sized microchips put into their hands, which contain information that they can use to, say, check into the gym or get into the office or huh. pay for train tickets, right? So on the one hand, everyone can appreciate that that's convenient, right? How many times have you been looking for your key fob at the gym or can't remember yeah. your password for something? Um, but I think the bigger question here is, look, as, as the human body itself becomes a technological platform, right, there are big questions we need to consider about what kind of information is put out about us, uh, from us, quite literally, and right. also <laughs> further down the line, what kind of access do other people or platforms have to that information that is inside us, right? This yeah. is a biotech question, this kind of blurring of the lines between the human body and tech. I mean, it's one thing if you're holding your smartphone and it's sort of emitting data about you. It's another thing if your own hand is doing the same thing. So, like, 3,000 people signed up for this. Are they not as concerned about hacking and privacy and all the things that we can't stop talking about over here? Yeah, polls show that actually um, Sweden um, is one of the countries where concerns about misuse of data is actually lower than, than other countries in, in Europe. Uh -huh. um, but, uh, you know, we'll see. This is 3,000 people. This is a, a small experiment. It's been developing over the past several years. Um, but as the information that these microchips contains gets more elaborate and more detailed, uh, people may start to change their mind and, and demand more protection of their privacy. Microchips implanted in human bodies could transform the way we deal with everyday tasks. As you may have heard, some workers in Sweden are volunteering to have chips injected into their hands. They say the technology can make some tasks easier and reduce the amount of personal items employees need to keep up with. John Blackstone looks at the controversial trend and how it could put your privacy at risk. In a Stockholm business complex, employees gain access not with key cards, but with a wave of a hand. This is something that you can use just like a key badge. At a recent tech yeah. conference, Hanna Schoblad yeah. explained how a microchip implanted in his hand makes his life easier. It replaces all the keys and cards that used to clutter his pockets. I use this many times a day. For example, to unlock my smartphone, to open the door to my office. Schoblad calls himself a biohacker. We biohackers, we think that the human body is a good start, but there is certainly room for improvement. The first step in that improvement is getting a microchip about the size of a grain of rice slipped under the skin. Suddenly, the touch of a hand is enough to tell the office printer this is an authorized user. It felt pretty scary, but at the same time, it felt very modern. The microchips are radio frequency identification tags, the same technology widely used in things like key cards. The chips have been implanted in animals for years to help identify lost pets. Now the technology is moving to humans, but each touch leaves a digital footprint, and that can compromise privacy. We're talking about a non-stop potential connection to my body. I can't turn it off. I can't put it away. It's in me. That's a, that's a big problem. Even a dedicated biohacker has concerns. It's very easy to hack a chip implant, so my advice is don't put your life secrets on a chip implant. But biohackers also predict the next generation of chips will save lives by monitoring health and fitness. For now, being chipped means never having to say you're sorry you forgot your key card. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.